Alright, this is Dylan Mosey for uh, Air Gunner Bro. Back on here to give you a little bit of a uh, my thoughts on uh, a couple of the little pistols I got. Yeah, a Spring UHC 1911. I put my CB name on the side here, which is CB Citizen Band right here, but I don't think you really care much about that. I got Colt 25, a little uh, 7 round along with a spare mag, which I had to make an adapter so it'll hold the rounds in place while it's in your pocket or something, so. Because it has no clip that on the top of the mag that'll hold the rounds. So altogether that's 14 rounds. And this right here, the uh, 1911 by UHC, it has a good feel to it, good weight. The magazine comes out nice and smooth. The hammer you can move independently if you care to. That 290 feet per second. You got your hammer locks back like most of your spring pistols. You got that open area there. Uh, sorry if I'm a little slow. Damn, I'm just waking up here, but uh, yeah. You open her up so I can show you. All you gotta do is pop this little piece out, which. Uh, you should probably use a knife for it, it's a lot easier. And I'm even able to fire around what's in there. Alright, there's your internals. It's got fixed hop up. Uh, as far as I know, it's fixed. I don't think you can adjust it from op by opening it, but who knows, maybe you can. I just haven't figured it out yet. <coughs> but there's your internals. And whenever you put it back together, make sure this little piece in here is on here right. Or no, it'll be this little. There's one of these little pieces in here my brother put in backwards and it wouldn't work. And then I put it in right and it worked. So, either way, with the Spring 1911, I love the way it feels. I mean, the Colt 25 is probably a little bit better off being a semi automatic. But, uh, yeah. It just, the 1911 feels better. I mean, that thing's practically tiny. So, you know, I... Let's talk prices, shall we? 1911 here, $15, $16 an air flat. You got your, uh... You got actually some pretty nice features on it. Uh, <coughs> Shoots roughly that 60 to 80 feet in distance on point 12. So I have not tried it on point twos. If I probably do, it'll probably go like five feet or something. I don't know. And you got this, which was that 60 to 80 feet on uh, point twos. I put this little piece of tape here because I didn't like the way uh, the uh, thing was catching on the trigger guard with my finger. But uh. Yeah, this uh, this thing isn't good for speed shooting here if you ever try it because uh, it'll it might set their load an extra round or two, especially if the mag comes loose and isn't all the way in there. Like say it's down like this, it's not gonna load right, and the magazine may just fall out on you. So it might be uh, a good idea to try to see if you can get used to holding your finger underneath the mag, is it just in case? And this was twenty four dollars an air splat. Which I think this was kind of a waste. The magazine was another ten dollars. This little tiny puny thing. You know what I mean? But it's a spare mag. It gives me another seven rounds. I never really use this in a match. You'd be rather close quarters. The uh, suppressor here isn't tight enough in tolerance to uh, serve as a barrel extension. I know a lot of people are saying with the MK23 uh, non-blowback that the suppressor was tight tolerance and had like a, it was t uh, tight enough for tolerance to actually extend the feet per second, I guess, up to 400. Well, this one isn't as tight a tolerance as you can see. Sorry if that's in a threatening manner to you. I probably shouldn't have my finger on the trigger there. But there. You see down the barrel? It's not really a tight tolerance, so it's not going to do you much good. <clears throat> One of the things I like about this is it breaks down just about as easy as a uh, 
gas will in some way break down easier with just a little switch, but a lot of the 1911s, you can just, you got to pull, uh, pull it back, pull out a piece, and it comes right apart. Basically the same thing with this. This is the first gun I own with an open port. So, uh, well, on my thoughts, a 1911 here is definitely a good for what it is. Uh, you may be able to find better, higher feet per second, uh, general stuff like that, maybe a couple better features. There's a Umarex one that has a rail. Uh, I think it's about 240 instead of 260. It's, uh, I guess the rail might give you a better feature. I mean, this thing here, when you aim it, yeah, you pretty much, you, when you aim on the sights, you're shooting a little bit higher. So I guess you might want to use the sights for a further range. You know, it's not really easy to aim with a spring pistol because of that. That it freaking that just the round goes higher than what you're aiming for by a lot. And then my thoughts on this. It's not something I would really suggest getting except maybe for something sm farting around in small spaces so you don't need much rounds for. Or just you want something cheap that you can just at a close range sit there on your porch and pluck off a few cans off the rail every porch or something. This would be alright for that. But, uh, and the thoughts of what it is being a gas pistol, even non-blowback, it's it's good, relatively good quality, but it's not a good one to use in a match, I would say. It's a uh, limited capacity and uh, low end feet per second, 60 to 80 foot range. I wouldn't really suggest it. If you if this is all you got, this would be better than nothing for a secondary. So with this, this might be better off than this depending on what you're planning on for a secondary. Whether you want to try to last a little while, you go with this one. I mean, last a little while in ammunition. Whether you want to be able to have a little bit of a better advantage versus spring on using semi-automatic, you go with this one. So, that's up to you. If you want a cool look of a suppressor, you go with the Colt 25 here. If you want something that feels great in your hand that actually use it your whole hand on the grip the 1911, the 1911 also has a metal trigger here which I like, nice little contoured trigger and the way, just the way it feels I like it but, uh, without the magazine in it, it's not really weighted all that well, you put the magazine in it it just feels a lot better and I got the uh, little $10 holster here and as far as I know, it'll work good. I haven't really done a whole lot with it myself. But either way, well, I hope you all take it easy. I've probably been talking a bit much for you. If you exit out at any point, I could care less. And if you want to watch it, you want to watch it. So, it's good. better watch it than having nothing else to watch. So, view, rate, subscribe. Uh, Comment, it's all up to you. Well, you guys take care, take it easy, eh? Goodbye.